Hey guys, Fuzz here, I hope you're all well. This is a long overdue video and I'm a humble apologies to a really good friend on YouTube and that is none other than Count Stankers. Details and description of his channel down below if you don't already know who he is, but I can't imagine you don't because he's a top, top guy. Long story short, uh, last year we, we both share a love of Planet of the Apes, all things apes, um, you know, from the original genre all the way up through and, and to and including the new films. Anyway, last year uh, Count Stankers took a trip out to the original set locations from when the original films were made and he very kindly sent me some very, very special things. So let me show you. He sent me, as you can see here, an actual piece of the ape city. I mean, it's just amazing to actually think that I actually own a piece of the ape city. He also sent me a piece of one of the steps that Zira and Cornelius walked up. You can see it down there. He also sent me a twig from the tree which they all stood under when they sort of had their washing things and their clothes were nicked. And he also sent me some rock, I suppose you might call it, or some sort of soil from the Ape City. And some sand from the beach right at the end when Taylor realises actually that he is he's back on Earth and his own civilization has died out and the apes have taken over, which is you know a very iconic film in any movie. Since receiving these bits, I've picked up recently this fantastic book which charts Planet of the Apes and it goes literally all the way through all of the films from current to the originals. Some amazing artwork as you can see there. I'll whiz through this quickly because it'll be time consuming otherwise. The beautiful Nova, which, let's be honest, if you're going to get stuck on a planet full of apes, bumping into Nova is definitely an upside. Goes in depth in, into all the different films, from the production to the storyboards, etc., etc., including the makeup, which of course for the first set of films, before the days of CGI and things, were, was a tour de force in its own right. The other thing that really appealed to me about this was it actually goes with the sort of the collect the collector part of the of the story of the Planet of the Apes. That you can actually collect the bits that people were collecting, the bits which were sold, the merchandise of the time. These are the tops trading cards that you buy with the bubble gum, which I actually don't own any of these, and I would love to own these because I think they're amazing. I think probably as a kid I had them. It goes on to the Mego Mego toys. You see the Mego range there. Activity books and colouring books. Then you've got the cartoon series. It's a big book. Reproductions of the original cases that the astronauts originally carried onto the planet. And very, very similar to the sideshow cases which I have with my figures. Then Planet of the Apes film with... Um, who do I want to say? Uh... Mark Wahlberg, maybe? Yeah. Onto the Necker range. Right up to Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And through to Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. But yeah, highly recommended book. Got a great sort of textural surface to it. So once again, I want to say a massive thank you to Count Stankus for providing me with just some unique, irreplaceable pieces from the actual original series of films. Um, touched by the kindness of you, my friend. Many, many thanks. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Take care of yourselves now. Cheers. Fuzz.